you know, it was an amazing week. It was a really hard week for me. The last couple of months have been really difficult for me, but I think the thing that got me through the most was just realizing it could have been so much worse. So many people have it so much worse than I do. So it, it just makes me feel grateful. Even when things are bad, I feel grateful. That is a fine, beautiful, proper chair. Oh, I wish it could tell some stories of the woman who sat in it. Was she a wife? Was she a mother? Was she a grandmother? Was she fearful? Was she brave? You know, I've lived here for a little over two years, and I think the thing I'll remember most about living here is that I found peace. And I found peace because I let go of one thing. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi today. I so hope you had a good, safe week. And welcome. Welcome to my no good, rotten week where everything went wrong. But I am so grateful to be here. I didn't think I would be able to talk to you today. I had oral surgery this week. And wow. And I'm still swollen on one side. And I, I'm getting used to talking with a new little bridge. But I didn't want to be gone for two weeks until I get used to it all. So I thought, well, I'm just going to cheat today. I'm going to come and we're going to have a good time and go over favorites. And I have a little little thing I need to talk to you about at the end of the video. So love Anne Klein watches and I love to give them for Christmas. Last year one of my very favorite gifts that I gave was a beautiful Anne Klein emerald watch. But when I saw this watch set, the watch and the matching bangles, I thought it was so beautiful and I thought it would be such a beautiful Christmas present. It isn't like you just are giving someone a watch. You're giving them this whole beautiful graceful set and I, I just love it it comes in a couple different colors so I'll link it below it's under $40 and oh what a statement it's just beautiful take you into my bedroom and show you this very glamorous Hollywood ottoman that I got for my bedroom. And I didn't just get it for looks or for storage. I got it for little Desi because he likes to sleep on the bed with me even without me. He, he loves the bed. And I didn't want him to make that big jump from the floor to the bed. So I thought I'm going to get him this little ottoman and then he can, you know, get up on the bed without hardly jumping at all. So I found this beautiful, just gorgeous ottoman and I got it in a very deep burgundy, not because I wanted burgundy, but because the, they have it in all kinds of colors, but the burgundy one is 
$50. All the others are over 100 so I thought, yeah, I can live with burgundy. Plus, I have this burgundy uh, white Christmas quilt that I'm going to put on my bed in December. So I thought, yeah, this will work out fine. So I want to show you what this looks like. It is the coolest Hollywood glamorous ottoman you ever saw. beautiful quality and it was delivered right to my door and all I had to do was just screw on two very pretty uh, wooden legs. Inside there is so much storage. I could store a quilt, pillowcases, my favorite books, even doggy treats. <laughs> I have done videos, I think, on every subject that you can think of. But the number one thing that you ask me about is skincare. I'm not sure why, but it's kind of sweet. And whenever I come across something that I'm just loving, I always share it with you. And I was watching the very lovely Jennifer Jenkins, and I will link her channel below. And she was showing this ordinary 30% AHA peel, and I used to use this all the time, but I stopped because I didn't think it was doing anything. I stopped years ago. Anyway, so she was using it, and she was talking about how much it helps with texture, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try that again. So I went to Sephora, and eight bucks, and here it is, now I am using it once a week and oh yeah, I don't know if they've changed the formula or my skin has changed, I don't know. But the difference is really astounding. 30% is pretty strong. 10 minutes is all I can take, that's all they recommend. But once you rinse it off, it makes a huge difference. I'm brighter, I'm smoother, I'm smarter. No, I just made that up. I don't know, a peel like this at my uh, dermatologist's office is $55. So there you go, $8 for the whole bottle. <laughs> I wouldn't give it as a Christmas present. No, I wouldn't do that. Well, I don't know, the neighbor who hates me, <laughs> maybe I should. No, I, will, I won't do that. It's a couple days before Christmas, your hair is done, you got your dress, the presents are wrapped. Now, what is the perfect shade of red lipstick that you can wear for Christmas Day? And my very favorite red lipstick is Enamel Red, and I will link it below. I love this red because, well, it's kind of the red lipstick my mom used to wear, but it's subtle, but it's beautiful, and it's just lovely. And I had to mention it, it is the perfect red for Christmas Day. Do you know how much I love you? You enrich my life to no end. Not a day goes by where you do not lift my spirit up. So you're probably gonna ask yourself, why is she talking about this product that we can't buy right now? And I know, I'm not trying to torture you. <laughs> but the product of the year for me is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. It is so viral, it is so wonderful that it is sold out everywhere. I had to go out on eBay go out on eBay, like eBay is an island, okay. I have to go on eBay. I paid $35 for this bottle of Halo Glow because I can't be without it during the holidays. It's so beautiful. It makes any foundation that you're using high-end, beautiful. It's like a filter. It really is. It's it's like somebody airbrushed you when you're walking around. It's so beautiful. I can't live without it. Now, 
when Elf is going to have this back in stock at Ulta or, you know, wherever you buy it, I don't know. But for right now, I'm going on to eBay, the island of eBay, where everybody's happy and everybody has a bottle of Halo Glow. I'm sorry. I'm off my pain pills. <laughs>
that lived alone and liked to eat. <laughs> right? Right, Des? Yeah. Yeah. I think. My crock pot on low, and I've got my mushroom sauce, my drained tuna. I sauteed some mushrooms and they are all laying on my egg noodles and then I'm gonna mix them all together and then I'm gonna keep it in the crock pot for about 45 minutes and that will feed me for about five days. It really is such a delicious little casserole. so much and we have so many good talks and we can talk about anything here and lately I have been talking a lot about if you want something if you need something ask for it and that's why it's so important that I share with you what happened to me when I had my oral surgery this week and I had been putting off having my teeth pulled for five years. Yep, five years. I would make the appointment and then I would cancel. You know, two days before, you know, I can't make it. Desi has fleas. I just can't possibly have my teeth out. Five years until finally the doctor said the teeth are so infected. It's affecting your health. We have to go in and remove them. Three, three teeth. Was it dangerous? I, I haven't had a tooth pulled in 30 years. What, what's going to happen to me? Am I going to be able to talk again? Am I going to have a heart? I mean, my mind was going crazy. That's so not like me, but I guess that's what a, like a, a phobia is all about. Just the thought that somebody was going to pull teeth out of my mouth. It was just too much for me to bear. So there I was at 9 a.m. on Halloween morning, and I'm in the little room where they're going to take my teeth out. And I am, you know, on the lounger, and there's a very young tuck that is prepping me. And she puts this big hose over my face, and it has oxygen and laughing gas. Have you ever had that? So I'm sitting there under the lights, and I've got this hose over my face and I started to feel not so much anxiety. I just felt alone. I, I felt like I was five years old. And my mind started to wander back when I was a very, very young girl and I was having a baby and I was having that baby alone. And I remember there was a nurse in the room and I wanted to ask her if she could please hold my hand, but I didn't dare. So I just, I just at, at 15 years old, I, I just cried. And that started to fill my head again when I was there. At 67, I'm thinking back to 1970. Well, here comes the surgeon, right? I don't know how it's going to end. I don't know what's going to happen to me. I said a prayer and I looked at this very, very young girl and I asked her, could I please hold your hand? And I thought she would laugh at me. I mean, she didn't seem terribly friendly. <laughs> But she got tears in her eyes and she said, oh, of course. And she grabbed my hand and she held it so tightly. And I was just fine. It, it was over before I knew it. I think the whole surgery took five minutes. And it was over and she held my hand the whole time. I asked for help. And I thought I was going to be rejected, but I wasn't. And I'm thinking about how this young girl in her 20s, how she arrived at that decision that, yes, she would hold my hand. 
And it affected her to the point where she got tears in her eyes. So I'm thinking, maybe she'll remember that. Maybe she won't remember me, but she'll remember that feeling where she tapped into that humanity of helping someone that she doesn't know, someone that she'll probably never see again, but she was willing to help me. And I, I did something I was afraid of. And I was so afraid and I needed something and I asked for it and I got it. So I just wanted to share that with you. I found peace because I let go of one thing, fear. When we think we have life all figured out and we can see exactly how everything is going to go in our life, something happens, something magical, and we live, we learn, and we love. Hey everybody, thank you so much for spending this time with us today. I loved every second of it, and if you get a chance down below, could you share it? Was there ever a time in your life where you needed something but were afraid to ask for it? Please have yourself a wonderful, happy, brand new week. And when you're done with your week, you come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right. It's a deal. We'll be here. We will be here. Things are going to be okay, no matter what. It sounds silly and it sounds corny, but... It's changed my life.